Hey developers, I'm the creator of jfullstack.dev. You know how setting up a full stack JavaScript project can be a huge pain, right? All that boilerplate code, setting up authentication from scratch, creating admin panels. It can take days, weeks, or even months to get everything work. Well, I've been working on something that's going to change all that. I want to show you how you can create a complete full stack JavaScript application in just minutes. Not hours, not days, not weeks, even months. Just in minutes. And I'm not talking about some basic to-do app. We're going to build a real block system with end-to-end -end type safety, proper authentication, also the admin panel. Let me show you how it works. First, we will head over to the dashboard page. And in here, we are going to create a new project by clicking this button. I'm just going to call this one JS full stack block. Now for our tech stack, I'm going to choose Express for backend, Drizzle RM, front end is Next.js, and API uh, communication, I'm going to choose this rest. For authentication, I will use GitHub, but you could totally use Google if that's more your style to authenticate the user. And let's we create the project, and then let's we jump to our project. Once we are in, you will see that we, we've got some pre-built schemas for authentication like users, refresh tokens, and user or out providers all ready to go. Now for our block app, we need to add three main schemas. I think we need to create authors, categories, and posts for our simple block application. Now we need to setting up the schemas. Let's we add the schemas, posts, and then authors and also the categories here is our schemas our three schemas that we have defined earlier and also you can setting up the schemas you can actually configure every single field and relationship manually you get complete control of all the things like for example for the post table here we can add fields one by one like title maybe for the post and the type is far char let's we look at far char and we put in here self changes and then also you can configure the relationship manually like the type of relationship one to one one to many many to one etc etc but you know what i don't want to make you sit through all that configuration i've actually prepared a schema header for our simple block app to speed things up let me clear what we have here first as we delete this delete the authors and delete the categories as well and then i'm going to load up the prepared schema this is the simple block i'm going to load up and there we go we have got all our table set up properly we got the authors table we got the categories table as well as the post table inside it and also we have the proper relationship as well for example the authors can have many posts so we have one to many relationship inside it that related to post.author ID. That's great. Everything is connected just the way we need it. Here is where it gets cool. We are going to set up our admin interface by creating resources here. Think of this as building blocks for managing our data. First, let's create resources here for our authors, categories, and post. And create resources. For authors, we will do something special since each author can have multiple posts, we can add posts as a child resource of our authors. We can click plus sign here and click post, create resource. This is our child resource of our authors. I will show you later the difference between this child post and the standalone post resource after we generate our code. Let's we set up the author resource first. For the list view, let's add the new list we will start by choosing the field name continue and the column type is text the label is name and make it sort table and you can also preview the column in here this is the sort table if we uncheck it's not sort table like that we save the changes and i think uh, let's we make it simple just uh, display the name of our authors inside our list now let's go to the form view. This is the most important thing for our application. Here, uh, we need to add some 
form based on our field that we have defined earlier for the best form uh, we need to have name let's continue and for the name i need to have input type text and validation options is required and then for the email is similar thing we need to have email and text for the input type and make it required save for the bio i think it's a, a bit different uh, we have the bio and then for the input type i'm going to choose text area save for the photo i think i'm going to change the label to photo url like that url enter a photo url because we don't have file uploads yet for our input type and let's choose uh, text for our input type of photo as well let's save and for the relationships forms we don't have anything right now okay let's we navigate to the post resources child of the author's resource and i'm going to add a new list add the title maybe save and flag just make it simple and maybe the uh, publish ad maybe let's we choose the date column for the publish ad save and then uh, you can also configure the list you can reorder that for example you don't want to have title for the first order you can reorder this like that and then we navigate to the forms of our post we will add our basic fields like title and then slug and then content maybe the uh, text area for the content because it's text image again we are going to have image url instead because we don't have a file input field let's we save and the publish it maybe the date the date okay publish it like that save now here's something cool let's go to the relationship forms tab since posts are connected to authors and categories we can configure this relationship as well in here for the author id field instead of showing just id in drop down we will display the actual uh, author names here we can choose the select a field for the author field by uh, selecting the name here and for the label i think it's more makes sense to have author name like that that's it let's save and also for the category let's we change the label to category and for the category field, uh, the user can select the category name to make it more make sense, right? Let's save. That's for our post. We have lists and forms for our post. And also I will speed through configuring the rest of our resources, the standalone post and categories to save you some time. <laughs> All right, I've already defined everything for our resources. And now for the magic part, let we hit that export button. And this is our project summary. We have six schemas and the resources we have for the resources. Okay, let's we export this project. And boom, we have got our complete project. Let's extract this download zip first. I'm going to open my finder and this is our zip this is our project actually okay we have extracted this download zip and I'm going to open up in my favorite code editor I'm going to open the Alacrity terminal because I'm using NeoVim yes I'm using NeoVim by the way okay let me show you uh, around the code base that generated previously I'm going to open the uh, just full stack block okay cd to just full stack block and then the project is nicely organized into different folder let me show you inside apps backend you will see that you will find our express server setup and then inside src the database that's where all our drizzle orm configuration live like schemas connection and index all the database magics happens here and then for our front end you will see that this is the next.js application and here is something cool in our packages 
app contract src you will find all our ts rest configuration this is where we define how our front end and back end communicate with each other we also have uh, the next package called shared types where we keep all our type script types uh, that are shared between different packages and apps inside it this helps keep everything type safe across the entire project that's it i think for the high overview of our code base application and now let me show you how to get it running i'm going to open up my terminal uh, from our uh, projects root directory here i will run the setup step if you don't know the detail i've already write the detail in readme.md if you need it but here is the quick version first let's uh, initialize the git and then uh, we need to switch to main branch git branch minus m main and then uh, we need to install uh, pnpm install we need to run pnpm install i mean because we need to install all the dependencies inside our project we are working with monorepo project here we have five workspace project inside it uh, let me show you five workspace project and we need to install all the dependencies inside that five uh, workspace and then after we install the uh, dependencies we need to run pnpm build package to build our package and then we need to configure our environment variables i've got my environment variables ready in my password store i'm going to copy that first and going back to my application sorry this one my application backend and in .env on our backend i'm going to uh, paste everything inside it and for front end env i think we don't need to configure that this is just a simple env for our front end like where is the backend url we live in port 880 it's for the communicating uh, between the front end and the back end and this is uh, just simply env we don't need to configure this env in our front end okay now the moment of truth we need to run our application let's we run back end first pnpm dev back end and i'm going to open another terminal just pnpm dev front end to run our front end application you see that our back end run in 880 port and for our front end we run in 3000 port that's great i will open chrome to test this and going to localhost 3000 localhost 3000 this is our application wait a second this is our application that's generated uh, using next.js for front end but we don't need to see the landing page we need to see the out sign in for example or if you go to the dashboard it will redirect to the sign in page because we we are right now not signing yet to our application this uh, generator app handle everything you need the authentication using gwt authentication or jot authentication and then the middleware back end api and then the front end and then the shared types and then the api communication the rm this application handle everything for you you don't need to do that manually from scratch let's we authenticate with github here since we ha we just only have github uh, authentication okay good this is our application i'm really excited to show you guys uh, this is our dashboard you can configure the dashboard view if you want and check this out uh, we can manage everything like authors categories and posts let's go to the authors page for example i'm going to create a new author yeah previously I, i've created three authors in my database so you can check it out here and for the new authors maybe i click the effect filler to uh, fill a free form that i got and create that you see that we got new author and then also we can uh, edit the author if you want here we can uh, edit the author for example just name it Aiden maybe this is Aiden or Alden I don't know update and here we go we got update our uh, author and then if we delete that we can delete our author as well as the categories and then here our post as well and for the post uh, there's something special maybe I'm going to show you guys this is uh, I'm going to uh, fill everything on my form input and publish it maybe 
this one author name you see that for the author name because previously we use the relationship fields and for the author we need uh, we define the author name to choose like michael chen for example the category uh, we choose the category name as well not the category id because it not make it's not make sense to just category id inside it let's choose that create we get that things again maybe uh, this one author victor web development create you see that we get that and the last thing that i need to show you uh, if you remember about that child resource we set up earlier here if you forget about that we have authors and the post uh, this is something special about the child resource when you fill author this one you click fill for one author for example you can see and manage all their posts right from the same page this means that this author michael chen have two posts and you can configure uh, that related post inside this author page you can edit this page as well inside it you can delete if you want to delete this author and also the post you can create new post for the uh, michael chen and etc etc you know we built all of this in just a few minutes think about it setting up authentication creating the admin panel configuring all these relationships this will normally take days or weeks or even months to build this from scratch but here we are with a fully working application ready to go i just launched this a few weeks ago and right now it's available at a special launch discount if you are building javascript application and uh, want to skip all the setup headache now's definitely the time to check it out go to my just fullstack.dev and you can get the cheapest price for now because this is the launching discount that's it for today thanks for watching and happy coding bye